now that you have calculated the content, we can also look at the word cloud. And then we will see what the topics are that people are talking about most. And it seems about meeting and presentation and keeping the time. Um, the color shows how positive or negative an um, word is used in the context. The darker the green, the more positive. The darker the red, the more negative. No, nothing is really red here. And if something is black, like network, it's neutral. I can always click on it. And then I see um, what the content is. And I can see out of all messages, there are 50 positive, 23 neutral, and 59 negative messages on the 132 appearances. So here we have a problem, and the problem is not so positive. So we have 191 problems, and 58 have been positive, 58 neutral, and 75 negative. Or we can look at Condor and the context of Condor. and look at those details. So um, a last view, we can also create a term graph where we automatically look at co-occurrences of keywords and choose the words by occurrences that we want to have included. And so I think this is, those three are interesting. And team is interesting. And email and tomorrow and project. And today, so we'll see how they speak about today and tomorrow. And network. And questions and slide. And Wikipedia. And problems. And Skype, maybe the project for BMW. So once we have that, those keywords, we have a network that we can again look at statically and look at the words that we have selected. We can make them a little bit bigger and we can calculate which ones are the most important ones by annotating them by betweenness and then sizing them by betweenness. And we see that they are all quite similarly. The reason is that in those long emails for this type of text, every email has probably almost uh, a connection to every other word. And that's why this network looks pretty evenly spread here. But once we have done all those calculations, we can go back to our original team and we can export the data. We can export the actor values that we have calculated. We could export the link values that we have calculated. So for example, we could look how emotional is each email. For now, I'm just interested in the actors. So I'm exporting that. I call that actor.csv. And now I can look at By double clicking it, this data in Excel, make it a little bit smaller. And now I could, for example, just look at the degree centrality. I could sort by degree centrality. From largest to smallest. And now I could, for example, look at the degree centrality distribution by just choosing it. Goes down to here. And now when I say chart, I will see how the distribution is. So we have a few people, Anna, who has a very high degree, and then it falls down very slowly until we have a few people that have a very low dist degree distribution. Or we have also now the individual values for each person and can analyze it accordingly. Back to Condor. 
we also have the option to export data into MySQL or to export time series. For example, we can look at how between a centrality changes over time of the people. So I call that ABC. And now when I export this, of course, I don't want it from 2015. I want it from 2013. Um, I think it was October 1st, 2013 to 2014. And I will take the days. I will not take the history. I will take a sliding time in the 15 days. And now it will export me that data, and when I open it, I can now look at those time series. And you might have remembered that Anachronos is the most active one, but oh, this is the actor file. I don't want to look at the actor file, I want to look at the actor between a centrality. Here it is. So here we have the values. So in the beginning, it was probably pretty empty. So I can delete the first few days. But now I can for ex either pick a random day and just sort by that day. Or I can pick a few actors and see how their between a centrality is developing over time. So I just take a few and go to the very end. Now when I say curves, I will see how that develops. And so now at one glance we see that Peter Glor has high betweenness. And this, we don't know who that is because the name was empty, but we can delete the node name field and take the user ID field. And then we will get all the names. So I go back here, I take that. I could choose more, even more. And now when I look at the chart again, now I have all the names. Now we will see who those people are. Peter, Anna Kronast. She's very central in the beginning. Now we know why she was so central later on. And here we have other people that are at some points along the time axis in the seminar, the most central ones. So we also have the option to just export the data set properties, which will be a few values per data set. So um, export that. Now when I look at that, this is mostly useful for statistics because we can quickly calculate values here of the entire network. So those are network attributes, the average emotionality, 0.24, the average sentiment, 0.57, decently positive. How many notches? 1.35, that is not too bad. Um, the complexity is five, so it's reasonably complex. It's not a very central network. The, between the centrality is 0.37. And average response time in hours. It took on average 19 hours to answer an email, which is not bad neither. 